Hello, just a quick update for Canvas Workspace users for any scan and cut owners out there. When you next log into Canvas Workspace, you'll receive a message about the Windows installable version having been upgraded. If you would like to update this, or if you haven't already installed it on your computer, there is also a handy download link right there on that page. Download it and install it in exactly the same way you would normally do. And then when you next open your Canvas Workspace installable version, you'll see that it's now on version 2. There have been a few updates to this software, so I'll take you through what I know. The first um, change is over here on the top left hand side of the screen, where you've got all of your tool icons that we've seen before. Right at the top there's now a Canvas Project Pattern Collection icon. If you click on that, it will open up the Canvas projects that you would normally find in the online version of Canvas Workspace. In this browser window, you can also take a look at the pattern collections that you would also see on Canvas Workspace Online. If you have activated either of these, then they will be accessible through Canvas Workspace on your desktop. If you haven't, it will have this icon here saying not activated. That's the first of the changes. The next is that if you have registered any of the premium accessory packs, these are now accessible in your shapes library. So the top four, uh, sorry, the top three we've seen before, the shapes, the borders, and the words, but I have the stamp kit and the embossing kit registered, so I can now access the shapes from those pattern libraries directly through Canvas Workspace desktop version. There are a couple of additional features as well in the menus, so I'll take you through those. In the file menu, you can now import from your computer, import from your cutting machine, and this is either transferring an FCM file or a scanned image. We can now transfer via the internet as normal, or we can transfer to the new Scan and Cut DX machine, which will be out later this year via a USB cable connection. On the edit menu I haven't seen any changes, nor on the layer menu, and nor on the display menu. On the help menu however, there is um, accessible help for the premium functions such as the rhinestone kit, the printable stickers, the enhanced image tracing, and the roll feeder. Now the roll feeder is an attachment that's coming with the Scan and Cut DX and I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be retrofitted to work with previous models. I'll try and find out soon though. There's access to a support page and you can now access your Scan and Cut Canvas Workspace account information through the link in the help menu. Once you click on it, all of your information will appear in a pop-up box. as you see here. So we've got user information, machine registration, and this will depend on the region where you're located. Some machines do, I believe in America, some in the UK don't, but if you do, that's where you'd find it. Premium function activation, so that's for the accessory packs. Pattern collection activation, so you saw where I um, pointed that out at the start here. There's also your user information as well. So you can access all that information through the desktop version. Again, you will obviously need to be connected to the internet to access that. And the last is to check for updates on the Scan and Cut DX machine, which again is coming out later this year. I'm not entirely sure when at the moment, but again, I will try and find out. Now, as far as I can tell, that is the um, totality of the changes at this time. Um, they're very welcome in my opinion, and I hope you believe so too. I didn't see anything that changed over in the artboard, the layers, the edit screens, or in the properties box. So they should all still remain the same. So if you've got used to those, no problem. Please don't forget that over on Udemy, I have a Brother Scan and Cut, Cut, Draw and Scan with Confidence video workshop available. Uh, it's proving very popular with nearly 1,000 students already, giving me an average of nearly five stars. 
There are 86 lectures with 5 hours of video, lifetime access and also the ability to ask questions and um, questions whenever you feel the need. So if you'd like to have a look at that and see what's involved, I will leave a link for you in the notes section for this particular video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you head off today and click on the little bell icon and then you'll get notifications about any future videos. And also if you found this video useful, please do give me a thumbs up. It really helps grow this channel. I'll see you again soon.